So the Americans, Liz, almost front-loading their team. They've got the two plus sixes up front, and they go down to the S5, Abbas Karimi, and finish with an S3. So they might have a lead, and the other teams will be chasing them. Yeah, the lead can change hands numerous times in this one. You obviously you don't it does you can swim your female and male swimmers in whichever order you want to as well. So the Americans will be going female, male, male, female. Those two sixes to lead them off. And then a five and then a three to bring them home. Only marks will be up against one of the new finds at these championships Samuel da Silva de Oliveira from Brazil goes in lane number five he's an S5 Ellie Marks an S6 but it's a male swimmer against a female swimmer a great start a trademark start almost from the Brazilian yeah, and he'll be looking to give the Brazilians advantage down this first 50 meters because he'll be handing over to an SB5 female athlete, whereas Ellie Marks will be handing over to Rudy Garcia Tolson, who is an SB6 male athlete, and also going very well there. Just one lane up from Ellie Marks is Antoni Ponce Petran for Spain, another S5 male athlete. Brazil have a very slender lead, but uh, straight away the Spanish swimmer in very, very quickly, and that's Miguel Luque, the SB3 swimmer. But there is Rudy Garcia Tolson, the SB6 swimmer. USA need to have an advantage here at the halfway point. Just looking down the field now, it looks like these three are stretching away from the rest of the field. Maybe lane number one, the Mexicans going well. Uh, they have got Samuel Mandela going on the pressure leg for them but Rudy Garcia Tolson the experienced man first won the Paralympic Games back in 2004 and he's given them a great chance handing over to Abbas Karimi on that third leg yeah, Karimi butterfly his favorite event he will try and hold on to that lead as the Brazilians hand over to Talison Glock and the Spanish hand over to be very much in form. Mata Fernandes Infante. So it's Glock for Brazil. Fernandes Infante for Spain. And Karimi doing an extremely good job of holding on to that lead. He'll hand over to Liam Smith for the final leg of this relay for the United States of America. And they are going to be difficult to catch from here. Absolutely, Leanne Smith going in now. She is an S3 swimmer, but she has got an advantage now. The Brazilians will touch in second place. Lydia Vera da Cruz will be well behind Leanne Smith. She's an S4 swimmer and unlikely to pull up that deficit there. Bocciardo going in for Italy on the final leg here. And can Bocciardo pull back the deficit here? The Italians got a long, long way to make up. They might get to the silver medal. They're not going to catch the USA team. Leanne Smith is going to bring them home in front. It's going to be a famous victory for USA. They're going to take a clear win in this one. 232-49. And that is inside the world record time. What a swim from the USA. What a finish for second. And it could well be the Italians will take that one, I think. Maybe just Bocciardo. A great finish there for Bocciardo. Spain in third place, just getting ahead of the Brazilians. What a finish for second, but what a performance from the Americans. And that, I think, is inside the world record time. Well, that was an incredible swim for the Americans. We've been talking to them earlier today. We were talking to Michael Proud Jr. and Erin Popovich, who were swimmers when we were swimming pool and now they're the coaches and they were saying we were reminiscing about when they used to have to field 20 point relay teams with Justin Zook as an S10 athlete as the only way to make up the combination but this is what happens when you get the perfect mix the perfect blend of athletes the right amount of points all swimming their favoured stroke here's Ellie March she started off well for that USA team just kept the deficit down it was Samuel Silva Oliveira who had the lead also a good swim from the Spanish swimmer Ponce Bertrand but a great pressure leg from Rui Garcia Tolson Abbas Karimi 
just consolidated that lead and Leanne Smith had an excellent chance there to bring the Americans home fantastic last leg and they have shaved a tenth of a second off that world record time let's hope these results are confirmed what a battle for the silver and bronze medals as well Liz yeah and the Spaniards they're sneaking through at the end with their S8 athlete on that final leg that is <laughs> it was incredible all teams going quicker <laughs> Rudy Garcia tells him he is not moving. No, not until he, he, knows. Needs, he needs confirmation of this result. He's absolutely he's willing this scoreboard to he's change and be making it official. Enough. He's watched enough relays to know. <laughs> he's been through enough major championships to know that until those results are in, you don't celebrate, you don't leave the pool side. There is how we stand at the minute. What a finish for the Italians. Bocciardo, I thought he might get up to silver medal. I didn't realise it was going to be that close at the end. Rui Garcia Tolson. He is watching with intent. He's not going to move. They need confirmation of this one. It's always this nervous way. Everybody looking at the scoreboard now. There it is. Pressure on the officials. We're there. there. We're there. Rudy Garcia Tolson can celebrate now. It is a world record swim for the Americans. What a quartet. They have early March. Rudy Garcia Tolson, Abbas Karimi and Leanne Smith. They have smashed that relay. No one has been disqualified here. That is good news. And there is the official result. The USA take the title in a new world record time. Italy take the silver ahead of Spain in the bronze medal position. Both of those teams just ahead of Brazil in fourth.